Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Rainy Day Women number 12 and 35. Okay, I'm going to, to be in Bob's key, I'm going to put the capo at the first fret to make this a little bit easier. Uh, otherwise, it's almost all bar chords um, if we did it in the key of F. So I'm going to do it um, as if I'm playing E shapes, okay? So like an E7. Um, it, it makes it just a little bit easier. Um, and it sounds just like what he's doing, so... Uh, there's a lot of stuff out there. I see a lot of people playing this tune, and um, and I don't see anybody using the diminished chords that you hear the band playing. So uh, don't be afraid of the diminished chord. It's not that bad. I know it's evil, but all right. So what we need is we need an E7. Wicked simple. Capo first fret, fifth string second fret, third string first fret. That's our first chord. I'm just gonna go down, down, up on that chord. Uh, now comes trouble. We got the E diminished seven, just like that. So it's an E diminished seven to an E flat diminished seven, and I'm just gonna. The strum pattern is just down, up, down, up. Would sound fine. You could even do down, down if you really want, but I'm gonna probably go down, up, down, up. Okay. The E diminished seven is the fourth string second fret, the second string second fret the third string third fret and the first string third fret. Now I'm going to play my first finger on such an angle as to mute that fifth string just in case I nick it by accident. My thumb is going to get rid of the sixth string down here so I can actually strum everybody if I want and I'm not going to have a problem. Um, if you're at that level where you, you really can't mute the strings so that you're going to just have trouble then just make your strum smaller, in other words tighter. Um, keep it on the high strings. Don't strum the 6th and 5th string if they're going to ring open, because it will sound horrible. Okay? That's not going to sound good. So, um, if you're at that point where you can mute them, mute them. Okay? But if you can't mute them, or if you haven't struggling with that, just do uh, strums, just smaller strums. In other words, don't strum all the strings. Okay? That's an E diminished 7. You're just going to go down and up. Then just move everybody that way, one half step, just like that. So that's the 4th string 1st fret, 2nd string 1st fret, 3rd string 2nd fret, 1st string 2nd fret. That's an E flat diminished 7. And then you're back to the E7 for down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so if you're on a chord for a while, that's going to be your strum. Okay? So that'll get you through a third of the tune right there. Uh, let me play it. E7, E diminished 7, E flat diminished 7, E7. Now what you're going to need is an A7 chord. Uh, you could do the, 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 the smaller A7. You'll have a bit of a jump to go to the next part. I'm going to do a bar chord at the 5th fret. That's the 5th fret from the capo, by the way. So it really looks like the 6th fret, you know, where there's no dots. Um, you bar it, and uh, you put your 3rd finger, I mean, I'm sorry, the 3rd string, uh, 6th fret, and then the 5th string, so what's that, the 7th fret, from the capo, okay? So it's just like that, that A7 that you play at the 5th fret all the time, you're playing at the 6th fret, technically, but it's 5 from the capo. Alright, I've confused you enough. <laughs> so it's just down, down, up, and uh, then we're going to go to, uh, let's see, that's the sound. So now it's that same diminished pattern you did down here. Same thing, you're going to mute these uh, low strings if you can. Fourth string and second string at the seventh fret. Th third and first string at the eighth fret. Just like that. And then just go back a half step to the sixth fret. Uh, fourth string, sixth fret. Second string, sixth fret. Third string, seven. And first string, seven. Okay. back to the E7. Okay. I'll play through the whole song at one point. So then you got a B7 that you're going to stay on for two whole measures. Um, fifth string, second fret, fourth string, first fret, third string, second fret, first string, second fret. Mute that sixth string. That's a B7 chord. And you're going to do two patterns on that of the long strum. So down, down, up, up, down, Okay? Don't be afraid of the B7. 
67, it's not that hard. Mark Wagner, I'm thinking about you. Knuckle buster. Even Johnny Cash could play that one. Alright, so, let me play through the whole song without saying a word. Well, not the whole song, but the whole pattern. It just repeats this whole pattern for the whole song. I have no idea what rainy day women number 12 or 35 mean. That's what Google's for. Uh, at one point I looked it up years and years ago, but I don't remember. Okay, um, please subscribe, play more guitar, and thanks Bob for another great tune. And Mark, practice your B7 chord. <laughs>